Hello. Here's our book for today. It's called Heggity Peg by Audrey Wood, and it's illustrated by Don Wood. These illustrations are just amazing. This is a very unusual story. Oh my goodness, what a gorgeous day. How's everyone doing? How you doing, Sam and Henry? Hi, Samantha and Danny. Hey, Zara and Oliver. Hi, Iris. Hi, Hannah and Noah. Hi, Kayla. How are the kids? Hi, kids. Be good listeners to Miss Kayla. Hi, Matea. Hi, Madeline. Hi, Iris. Hi. Oh, I said hi to Iris. Hi, Zachary and Aria and Colin. Did I say hi to everybody? We got so many friends. I hope everyone's doing well. So I want you to think about the days of the week, and I want you to think about a calendar. Now, turn and whisper to someone next to you, why is Mimi telling you to think about the calendar? All right, Henry, today is June 1st, so that was a good thought. Um, there's another reason, you'll find out. When you, when you hear this story and you realize why I said think about the days of the week in the calendar, give me a thumbs up, okay? Okay, just gorgeous, gorgeous illustrations by Don Wood. Look at that. Down the dusty road and far away, a poor mother once lived with her seven children named... Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday. Oh, I see your thumbs up. Now you know why. Every day before the mother went to market, her children helped with all the chores. Do you do that? I hope you help with the chores at your house. One morning when they were finished, the mother said, Because you are such good children, you may ask for anything you want, and I will bring it home from the market. And maybe sometimes when you go grocery shopping with mom or dad, maybe they let you pick something out. Turn to someone next to you and tell them what do you like to pick out when you go to the store or the market. Go ahead, I'll wait. Mm-hmm, mm-hmm. Somebody said cereal. Mm-hmm, somebody said strawberries. Okay. Somebody said chocolate, okay. The children were overjoyed and knew exactly what they wanted. Monday asked for a tub of butter. That's an unusual request, isn't it? Tuesday asked for a pocket knife. I just put a little knife there. Wednesday asked for a china pitcher. You might have some of these in your house. Let's see. Thursday asked for a pot of honey. Mmm, yummy. Friday asked for a tin of salt. I just brought over the whole, the whole salt box. But theirs was in a tin. Saturday asked for crackers. Mmm, Mimi likes crackers too. And Sunday asked for a bowl of egg pudding. And I, I didn't have egg pudding, but I put an egg in a bowl. What would you have asked for? Mm hmm Okay, let's see what happens next. The mother kissed her children goodbye and said, Now be careful and remember, don't let a stranger in and don't touch fire. What's your mom or dad say when they leave you? Right, we don't let strangers in. Mm -hmm. The children locked the door behind her and they began to play. Do, 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 do. Oh, they were having so much fun. What do you think's gonna happen? Oh my goodness. Who do I see in the window? Let's find out. Before long, a witch hobbled up the road, pulling a heavy cart. She tapped at the window, she rapped at the window, and called out, I'm Heggedy Peg, I've lost my leg, let me come in. Boys and girls, what should they do? 
Right, right. They should say no. We can't. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday called. Mother said, told us not to let a stranger in. Heggity Peg took a pipe from her cat cape and stuck it in her mouth. Come now, sweet children, she called. All I need is a light from my pipe. Bring me a burning straw. We can't, Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday called out. Mother told us not to touch, right, fire. Heggy Peg reached in her cart and pulled out a sack. I'm sure your mother won't mind, she said. Look, if you let me in and light my pipe, I'll give you this. What do you think was in the sack? Let's find out. Leaning out the window, the children looked into the sack. They couldn't believe their eyes. Gold, they cried, for a sack of gold will let you in and light your pipe. Uh-oh, what do you think? Was that a good decision? What would you have done? Right, talk to someone next to you. Tell them what would you have done. Mm-hmm. Yeah, not even for gold. The children unlocked the door and let the witch in. They ran to the hearth and brought back burning sticks of straw to light her pipe. The hearth is like the fireplace. Oh, look at that illustration. Beautiful. But when it was lit, Heggity Peg threw the pipe to the floor and shouted, Now I've got you! And with that, the witch turned the children into food. Monday became bread. Mimi brought a rollover. Tuesday became pie. Hmm, I wonder what next. Wednesday became milk. Here's the milk. Thursday became porridge. Friday became fish. Saturday became cheese. She turned each child into something. And Sunday became roast rib. That, that's like meat. How did she do that? Can somebody turn you into food? <laughs> what food would you want to be turned into? Go ahead, just call it out. Let me hear. Who's being turned into ice cream? Oh, that's funny. Okay. Heggity Peg gathered up the food and loaded it in her cart. Without looking back, she pulled the cart down the road. Over the bridge, through the town, across the field, and deep into the woods to her hut. What's going to happen? What do you think? <gasps> Let's find out. Soon the mother returned home carrying a large basket. In it were all the things her children wanted. A tub of butter for Monday, a pocket knife for Tuesday, a china pitcher for Wednesday. A pot of honey for Thursday. A tin of salt. Here's my salt. For, for Friday. Crackers for Saturday. And a bowl of egg pudding for Sunday. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, she called, but no one answered. The mother found the witch's broken pipe and burnt pieces of straw on the floor. Tears flowed from her eyes. Who has taken my children, she cried. A blackbird who had seen everything took pity on the mother and hopped down to the windowsill. Follow me, the bird chirped. It's Heggity Peg, she's lost her leg. They let her in. Grabbing her basket, the mother followed the blackbird down the road, over the bridge, through the town, 
across the field and deep into the woods to the witch's hut. <gasps> What's going to happen next? Go ahead, turn to someone next to you and tell them, I'll wait. Okay, let's see who's right. Look at this beautiful big illustration. Let me show it up to you up close. That's Hegarty Peg with all the food. Hegarty Peg had just sat down to supper and it was about to take her first bite when she heard a loud knock at the door. Who is that? Let me in, the mother cried. I, I want my children back. You can't come in, said Haggity Peg. Your shoes are dirty. Then I'll take them off, the mother said, and so she did. Let me in, the mother called. I want my children back. You can't come in, said Haggity Peg. Your socks are dirty. Then I'll take them off, the mother said, and so she did. Let me in, the mother called. I want my children back. You still can't come in, said Haggity Peg. Your feet are dirty. What's she going to do for that? Oh, my gosh. Then I'll cut them off, the mother said. And she went away as if to do so. But instead, the mother hid her legs behind her. And she crawled back so the, through the witch's door. Let me in, the mother called. I want my children back. When Hegarty Peg looked down, she thought the mother had no feet. So she let her in. Oh my, what's going to happen? The witch pointed to the table. Here are your children, you said. If you can't guess them right the first time, I'll eat them for my supper. Keeping her feet tucked beneath the mother called to the table, how would she ever guess which food was which child? How's she gonna guess? Can you figure that out? Hmm. Okay, let's see. In despair, the mother looked in her basket. Here are the things my children wanted, she thought, and now they will never have them. Harry, said the witch, I'm hungry. The mother looked at the food on the table. Speak up, said the witch. My supper grows cold. Here's all the food on the table. Suddenly, the mother knew what to do. Taking the things from her basket, she said, I know my children by what they want. Bread wants butter. That's Monday. Let's see. Pie wants knife. That's Tuesday. Hmm. Milk wants pitcher. That's Wednesday. Porridge wants honey. That's Thursday. Fish a little bowl like a fish. Fish one salt. That's Friday. And cheese wants crackers. That's Saturday. And roast rib wants egg pudding. That's Sunday. Oh, that mother is so clever. Just like your mother is. Quick as a wink, the children turn back into themselves. Yay! They hugged and kissed their mother. They hugged and kissed each other. Oh, they're so happy. Jumping to her feet, the mother cried, I've got my children back. Heggity Peg, now you'll be sorry you ever took them. She chased the witch around the hut, out of the woods, across the field, through the town, and onto the bridge. What do you think? Make your prediction. What's going to happen? I think you're right. 
and Hegarty Peg jumped off the bridge and she was never seen again. And that's the story by Audrey and Don Woods of Hegarty Peg. That's a pretty unusual story. Now you know why I said to think about the days of the week. Can you tell me the days of the week? Let me hear you say them. All right, let's say them together now. Monday, Tuesday, Wednesday, Thursday, Friday, Saturday, Sunday. What day is it today? What day was it yesterday? Mm -hmm. What day will it be tomorrow? All right. So you could do something about the days of the week. If you'd like, you could make a calendar. If you get a piece of paper and a pencil or some colored pencils or markers, you might want to get a ruler and draw some straight lines and then write the days at the top. What day should we start with? Right, start with Sunday. That's at the beginning of the calendar. That would be fun if you made a calendar. You could write special things like, when's your birthday gonna be? I know what you're gonna put Zara for June, right? Because you got a birthday. You could put days where you have something special planned like a picnic or a hike. So that's a fun idea. I can't wait to see what you come up with. All right, it's been great reading to you. Love you, love Mimi. Have a great day, bye.